had to wear on the gold rush. They had to wear underwear that puffed up their dresses, hoop skirts, and men sometimes had to wear them as well. Their dresses were long and they weren't allowed to show skin apart from their face. They had to wear bonnets and gloves. The women had to do the washing, cooking, sweeping. They had to feed the animals and look after the kids while the men were out panning or mining for gold. Sometimes women didn't get to pick their husband and just got given a man that came off the ship. Did the women have rights? Women did not have many rights. They weren't allowed to vote. The ladies weren't allowed to show their skin except for their face. They wouldn't be able to pan for gold because men said it was no place for a lady. How was school for girls in the gold rush? Back in the gold rush, it wasn't compulsory to go to school for girls. We were lucky to make it to grade four. The girls were made to sit on one side of the classroom and the boys had to sit on the other. Their desks were on the other side of the room as well. There was a cane that students would be hit with, with even if they made the smallest mistakes, like spelling a word wrong. The servants had to wear very long and old skirts. They had to wear baggy tops and they had to wear bonnets on their head. The servants' clothes were able to be washed but the ladies' clothes weren't, so that meant the ladies stuck. The servants had to do everything. Who made the Riga flag and what was it made out of? Anastasia Withers, Anne Duke, Anast Anastasia Hayes. On the 29th of November in 1854, the Eureka flag was made from wool and cotton. The cross and the stars were made out of a satellic and the blue background is made of blue wool. When they raised the flag, Peter Laylor swore, we swear by the Southern Cross to stand truly by each other and fight to defend our rights and liberties.